Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get set up in Firm Central time and billing. First, log in to Firm Central and then sign in as the administrator. To do this, go to the drop down menu by your name in the upper right corner and select Admin. Once you are signed in as the administrator, you will see an additional tab labeled Admin. Only users with admin privileges will have access to this tab and its content. Click on Time and Billing on the left-hand side of the screen. You will then see three different tabs across the middle of the page. Activity and Expense Codes, Invoices, and Time Entry. This is where you will determine your default settings for time and billing. On the Activity and Expense Codes tab, you can set your tax rate. To do this, enter your tax percentage and click Apply. In the Activity Codes section, you can select the activity sets that you would like to use. This is optional as an activity is not a required field when creating time entries in the system. You can choose to use Firm Central Activity Codes or both. Firm Central Activity Codes contain a listing of general activities. ABA Activity Codes contain uniform task-based codes. If you enable ABA Activity Codes, you can also choose to include one or more task code sets. A check mark next to the code set indicates that it is enabled in the system. To view a code set, you would click on the code set name. To deselect a code set, uncheck the box next to Include Set when entering time. You can rename or remove any activities in the set. To remove an activity, deselect the box next to the activity name. You also have the option to add new activities to an existing code set. To do this, type an activity name in the code description box and click Add. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save. In the Expense Codes section, you can select the expense code sets you would like to use. This is optional as an expense code is not a required field when creating expense entries in the system. You have all of the same options that we covered under Activity Codes with the addition of being able to apply a specific cost associated with a particular expense, as well as determining whether or not the expense is taxable. If you make any changes, remember to scroll down the page and click Save. On the Invoice tab, you can customize your invoice settings. In the top section, you will set your invoice number and payment terms. In the middle section, you will enter your firm name and address how you want it to appear on your invoice. You have the option to add contact numbers, such as office phone, fax, and email address. You can choose to include your firm website and can also upload a firm logo. There is a disclaimer text section where you can enter a disclaimer or general message that would appear at the end of your invoice. Once you have completed this section, scroll down the page and click Save. To view the standard invoice template, click on Preview. Firm information will be listed at the top. Client name and contact information, as well as the matter name, will be listed on the left side. Invoice date, number, due date, and payment terms will be listed on the right. The Time Detail section will include time entries with a subtotal. The Expense Detail will list your expense entries with a subtotal. There is a Summary section at the bottom that will list both time and expense entry subtotals, as well as any discounts, tax, outstanding balance, finance charges, and total amount due. Once you are done previewing the template, you can close out by clicking on the Close Preview button. Note that you have the option to create a custom invoice template. To do this, click on the New Template hyperlink. Enter a template name. Add a check mark next to the information you want included on your invoice. Select your design options and click Save. 
you will be returned to the Invoice Templates page where you have the option to determine which invoice template you want to designate as the firm default. On the Time Entry tab, you can set Preferred Time Interval for tracking time. To change the time interval, click the drop-down arrow to make your selection and click Save. You will also want to go into the Firm User Management tab on the left side of the page. From here, you will manage user defaults. You can enter initials for firm members, control permissions for users, enter default standard rates, and set time and billing permissions. If you enter initials for your firm members, you can choose to include those initials on your invoices for time and expense entries. There are four different permission levels. They include time and expenses only, limited access, view all financials, and full access. Once you have made your changes, scroll down and click Save. Mm -hmm.